We have had the technology to create, control, and steer hurricanes for decades. Project Cirrus is the first official attempt to modify a hurricane. It was run by General Electric with the support of the U.S. military. The official theory was that by changing the temperature outside the eye wall of a hurricane, which they did by seeding the clouds with various compounds such as silver iodide, a decrease in strong winds will result. On October 13, 1947, Project Cirrus targeted a hurricane heading out to sea. Approximately 180 pounds of dry ice was dropped into the clouds. The crew then reported a pronounced modification of the cloud deck, and the hurricane abruptly changed direction and made landfall near Savannah, Georgia. The public blamed the government. Irving Langmuir, who pioneered General Electric's Atmospheric Research Department, and admitted that the project was about learning how to weaponize the weather, also claimed the reversal of the hurricane had been caused by Project Cirrus. But the government denied it for 12 years. After a short delay, the project officially continued, and in 1965, Project Storm Fury had targeted Hurricane Betsy for seeding. On that day, the storm immediately changed direction and made landfall in southern Florida. Congress blamed it on Project Storm Fury, but the government claimed that the hurricane shifted before they ever had a chance to seed it. And after two months of congressional hearings, the project was allowed to continue. In 1997, U.S. Defense Secretary William Cohen admitted we have the technology to control the weather, including earthquakes and volcanoes. The U.S. government has placed gag orders on employees of the National Weather Service. In October of 2012, after Hurricane Sandy weakened to a tropical storm, microwave imagery shows a thick red beam immediately followed by Sandy growing into a Category 1 hurricane and taking an unexplained left turn into New Jersey. The push towards alternative energy demands more lithium, and according to the U.S. Geological Survey, the United States has over 6 million tons of identified lithium resources. The majority of this lithium has been identified in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Kings Mountain is believed to have one of the largest resources in the world, but the biggest problem is that people live there and they don't want their quiet towns turned into lithium mines. People in Cherville have been pushing against a proposed lithium mine for the last several years, but everyone we spoke with here said it's too divisive of an issue to share their opinion on camera. Cherryville is a small, quiet town. I think that's good that we keep it small. So quiet, many don't feel comfortable speaking out against Piedmont Lithium's proposed mining operation nearby. I think we're a silent majority. <laughs> I think a lot of people are afraid to say anything about it because they are bringing a lot to the town as far as money. Last year, the Department of Defense entered a $90 million agreement with Albemarle Corporation to increase domestic production of lithium for the nation's battery supply chain, specifically from Kings Mountain, North Carolina, starting by 2025. This is the same area experiencing what is being described as biblical floods. While the federal government spends billions on foreign wars and illegal immigrants, they simply cannot be bothered with the health and well-being of the American people, especially those living on coveted mineral-rich land. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese. Suur tänu kõikidele vanglaplaneedi toetajatele, kelle abiga see video teie nii jõudis. Kui soovite samuti info levitamisele kaasa aidata, siis selleks on mitmeid võimalusi. Liitudes vanglaplaneedi vastupanu liikumise tasulise paketiga saate ligipääsu pikematele interviudele julgete ja inspireerivate inimestega. Lisaks sellele on teil võimalus vaadata mõningaid vanglaplaneedi videoid juba enne seda, kui need avalikuks tehakse. Teine võimalus on päris maale see poest endale toidu lisandeid tellida. Muidugi võib teha ka lihtsalt rahalise annetuse ja juba mõne eurone toetus, iga kui see püsi maksena, on suureks abiks. Täpsemad juhised selle kohta leiate vanglaplaneedi lehelt toetan uppu alt. Hindlasti jagage seda videot ja liituge vanglaplaneedi uudiskirjaga. 
et kõik oluline info vaatamata tsensuri pingutustele ikka teie nii jõuaks. Suur tänu kõikidele, kes on Vangleplaneidi portaali tegevusele toeks olnud ja eestlaste vastuvanu vaimu kasvule kaasa aidanud.